Hello pals, what's going on guys? In this particular short term brief tutorial, we're gonna be looking at a very interesting topic, which is quitting an R Poison attack detection tool, okay? Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that using Python and raw sockets. Um, so let me introduce you to the, the virtual machine we're gonna be using. One is physical, which is my Ubuntu machine with an IP address of, uh, you know, 0.2. And the Kali Linux is ifconfig eth 0.3. Okay, so this is the tool. So let me run the tool. And by the way, I'm going to split up this particular tutorial uh, to two videos. So bear with me. So I have started the, the, the program, and here the attacker, we uh, in the on the attacker um, terminal, we have a program as follows and this program basically will try to will inject the the art the client's art caches on the network so I'm gonna send this packet to the broadcast address so let's Python response and the attack the attack has been started and if we go to the Kali Linux as you can see here we have detected an ARP poisoning attack okay an ARP poisoning attack this is the 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 attacker machine and we have a problem here so let's vim, you know, IDS. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here, guys, because it has detected a legal reply. So dot replace column by nothing. I'm gonna show you why why I have added this. So let's run the tool again, and now we should see only one attack attacker machine. Okay. So as you can see here. The, the attacker's MAC address is as follows, 888, and it ends by 9A. So let's go to the, uh, the, the attacker machine, ifconfig, hack1, as you can see here, 8898A. So let's take a look on this program. So before starting talking about this particular tool, let me introduce you to some I am sorry guys I have to make some changes here I haven't included the changes here and this particular line should be on okay point this that's good now okay so before starting um, talking about this program let me let's talk a little bit about the theory okay so what is an ARP the ARP resolution protocol is a protocol that is used to translate uh, IP addresses to MAC addresses so for example let's assume that you have a an IP address of a given IP of a, of a, of a, a given client and you want to communicate with that client um, using uh, on the local area network. And on the local area network, clients using or use uh, MAC addresses to communicate with each other. Okay. Uh, basically, in this case, we need to find a way to determine what IP, what MAC address is related to the given IP. Okay. In this case, we are going to use um, ARP, uh, ARP, the ARP protocol. This is how a, the ARP header looks like, guys. So let's talk a little bit about this. Um, in the case of an R packet, there is no IP header or TCP header or something like that. We have MAC header and directly we have the R header. The MAC header is made up of, you know, let me go back here, is made up of three fields. The, this field is the ether type. So let me, DMAC. and you know smac and ether type okay so let me ether type excellent so let's delete oh my god I don't know how to bring it back. 
Anyway, so let's. So this is how a how a if the, the MAC header looks like. So, uh, basically, the destination address destination MAC address is the the, the, the the MAC address of the client we want to communicate with, and the source MAC address is our MAC, our, our MAC address, and the ether type basically is indicates um, which protocol is going to be using right after the Ethernet header. In this case, we are going to use to be using uh, ARP. Isn't it? So the value here should be 0x0806. This is stands for ARP Proto ID. Okay. The ARP Proto ID is as follows. Just think, just uh, retain this information. I'm going to show you how to bring this information, how to get this information. So if we kind of go ahead and bless, you know, user include Linux um, IF. Ether, basically these are the protocol IDs, okay? The Ethernet protocol IDs, and in our case here, the Internet protocol I packet is 0x0800. So if we have a ARP a MIP header, we have to specify this particular value. If we have an ARP resolution protocol or packet, we are going to be using this particular value. If, for example, you are interested in interested in MPLS, for example, uh, unicast or multicast traffic you're going to be using this particular um, values. So in our case, we have an ARP header. So we have an ARP header. Uh, this is the MAC header, ARP header, and data, okay? So let's proceed our work. So now we know what is an ARP, a, a MAC header, okay? So let's proceed our work. So the ARP header is made up of multiple fields. The first one is the hardware type. So this indicates which hardware uh, hardware type is is gonna be using. In this case, we don't have H HDLC. We don't have this particular uh, things as as you can see here. W but we are uh, the our hardware type is Ethernet. So the value here is gonna be one. And in hexadecimal, as long as this uh, particular field is two byte long, the value should be zero x zero. Um, you know. Um, 0x0 zero zero, 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 001. So this is 2 byte long 1 in hexadecimal. Okay? Excellent. So um, let's proceed. We have the protocol type. The protocol type here is IP. So in this case, we are going to be using um, IP. And if you remember the value the protocol ID related to the IP protocol or the internet protocol is 0x0800. Zero 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 zero, okay. And the the hardware address length is the, the the length of the hardware address that is going to be using um later on on the field here. And the the which is six byte long. So this particular this given field should be 0x06. Zero zero and this particular field is the protocol address length which uh, should be 0x04 zero zero because uh, the length of uh, uh, an IP header is, you know, is 32 bit or 4 bytes. And the opcode here, um, in, in our case, we need, we are going to be using uh, a request or a reply. Okay. In the case of a request, ARP request, we are going to, the value should be 0x0001 zero 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 because this is 2 byte long, guys. This is 2 byte long. In the case of an ARP reply, the you know the value should be 0x0002 zero 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 the source hardware address and the source protocol address and the destination hardware address and destination protocol address guys it depends on the opcode that has been used so let's uh, t discuss this particular fields so in the case of um, let's assume that we have an ARP ARP request okay so let's assume that we have a a computer here this is a very good computer and we have multiple computers here okay we have multiple computers here I'm sorry for this bad drawing anyway so this particular computer has an IP address of 1.1.1.1 and is going to be looking for 
another IP address which is 2 okay let's assume that this is the this is the gateway okay the MAC address related to this particular IP is you know um, a a a let's let's um, keep keep it as an example this is not a real MAC address the MAC address is 48 digits so let's copy paste it and let's copy so this is you know B column B column B so this particular computer doesn't know about this MAC address it has on um, as you know the default gateway is here let me create it here default or the gateway is 1.1.1.2 isn't it it has been configured on the tcp ip configuration uh, field okay so if this let's assume that this particular computer is you know uh, wants to communicate with the gateway so communicate local communications should be done using uh, mac addresses so it has to look for the MAC address related to the this particular IP so it is going to generate a MAC header so how the MAC header is going to be uh, look like simply put let's the the hardware type is going to be Ethernet 0x0001 um, so let's let's create a row so it's going to be 0x0001 and the what do we have here we have the protocol type and the hardware length so the protocol type if you remember we are going to be using uh, IP and the ether type is 06 which is the length of a MAC address and remember this is 2 byte and this is 1 byte and the MAC address or the, the length of, of the protocol address is or size of protocol address is 0x04 and finally we have the source IP S Mac, D I P, and D Mac. Excellent. So, the S I P here should be 1.1.1.1, and the S Mac should be A A A. The D I P should be 1.1.1.2, and this should be zero colon zero colon zero. So this is an ARP request. We have forgotten. We have forgot. You know the opcode. The opcode is 1 because this is an ARP request, okay? Um, request, okay? So basically, this is how a, an ARP request should like, uh, look, looks like. So this particular packet we, will be sent to this, to the given computer, to, this, to all the network. And um, basically, this particular uh, computer or gateway will respond to this packet because it has been sent to it. Okay, the, the, the destination IP is 1.1.1.1. As long as the ARP was a request, it should answer by a reply. So this should be a, you know, a reply, reply, a reply, and, you know, this should be here. What's the matter, man? okay point two so request and this should be two okay and now the source MAC address here so let's keep it as it is and let's you know let's keep it as it is and zero x zero zero this is the the R pre reply okay zero one and zero x zero eight zero zero this is the IP that is going to be used and 0x06 as always and in this case we are going to be using 0x04 this is the size of pro the protocol address size and this is should be 0x0002 and here should be 1 I don't see the cursor guys so I'm sorry for that I don't know ok 
okay the SIP here becomes you know becomes I'm sorry this should be this should, should be one okay and the SIP guys here should be 1.1.1.2 because this particular is the source I this this particular packet is generating the, the, the this this particular gateway is generating the packet and the packet uh, should contains the source IP as this particular IP okay 1.1.1.2 and basically the S mark should be this is the answer okay B B B excellent so and you know now the DIP should be the destination IP uh, indicate uh, who's the computer we want to communicate to we, we want to send a packet to so this is one to the the computer that requested our MAC address which is 1.1.1 isn't it and the DMAC is a a a so this is how actually our works okay so we are going to generate this particular packet packet and generate this particular uh, an ARP request and we are going to generate an ARP reply and try to send this particular packet over the network so that's all for this video guys just to the video is getting longer so see you uh, on the next video and we're going to be looking where we're going to be looking at about uh, we're going to be looking at the source code see you next time